Anyways, we need to talk. So you serious about this whole New York stuff? You just got to follow your heart, son. Only you know what you truly want and only you can go get it. I got to tell y'all what I found out. D-Lo, yeah, that nigga sell dope. I can never fold, I can never break Back against the ropes, I endure the pain I'm asking, could you pray for me? Yeah. I'm asking, could you pray for me? Never broke the code, I stand on my name Even in the cold, I walk through the rain I'm asking, could you pray for me? I'm asking, could you pray for me? Yeah. Been through the rain, I ain't have a cold Pops, man, thanks for coming. It's good seeing you, son. Look, man, I just want to say I'm sorry for everything. Hey, man, don't start all that sentimental crap. Tempers were high, and we both said things we didn't mean. Let's just leave it in the past and move forward. I mean, all right. Well, I called you down here because I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I'm at a crossroad and I really don't know what to do. Talk to me, son. What's going on? Well, Pops, I mean, I'm sure Mom already told you I've been planning to move to New York. And honestly, I'm torn because Alicia and I seem to be getting back on good terms. And not only that, this new shop just opened and honestly, it's been performing really well. See, I want a fresh start in a new city, but at the same time, I feel like if I leave, I'll be giving up everything I have here. You just got to follow your heart, son. Only you know what you truly want and only you can go get it. Like I always say, just be patient and soon the universe will make a decision for you. Man, it's just something about the advice I get from my pops that hit different. I swear, he could say the most simplest thing and it makes the most sense. I hadn't talked to him since the argument, so I called him down to the shop to check out the car before I made delivery. See, this wasn't our first big argument we've had, and I'm pretty certain it probably won't be our last, but like always, we just bounce back like nothing ever happened. But say, man, I know y'all dying to see the final results of the bill, so without further ado, here it is. This by far was the toughest build I think I've ever had to do. Not because the work was just super hard, but because the customer d pretty much let me make all the decisions. I mean, don't get me wrong, yeah, he had a vision in mind, but it was really vague. So I was forced to dig into my creative bag to bring the vision to life. I made the perfect cut so the wheels mounted on just right. Steve mixed the colors perfectly so the paint blended exactly how d wanted it. The new black leather interior fit with the new black rag top on the car to a T. And the custom chrome steering wheel, man, that just added yet another splash of character to what I would consider already a masterpiece. See, last episode I mentioned seeing myself as an artist. Well, this car hands down has to be my favorite piece of artwork so far. All right, y'all, so now that Pops left, we got a moment to ourselves before D-Lo get here to pick up the car. Well, first and foremost, man, I gotta get this damn AC fix. It's hotter than HE double hockey sticks in this bitch. But anyways, I gotta tell y'all what I found out. D-Lo, yeah, that nigga sell dope. How do I know? Well, I don't, but hey, hear me out, man. Look, his car wasn't supposed to be done for another week, but he randomly called me saying he just bought a crib in the hills and he need to come down and pick up his car ASAP. Now, of course, I thought Buddy was playing, but no, the nigga really bought a crib in the hills. I let him know all the extra work he got me doing was going to be an extra 10 G's. Y'all know what he said, right? Come on now, my boy. Money ain't no issue. But hey, man, I'm going to do like y'all told me to do. Mind my business and just do my damn job. But anyways, while we wait on his ass to get here, I think I already found my next flip. It's a 2015 Challenger SRT. This is the perfect time to get one because right now, they selling for way over market value. But the only problem is, this bitch ain't got no engine. I know what y'all think of, but hey man, hear me out. If we get this bad boy and then build the engine, we can keep it on tuck until 2024. What happens in 2024, you ask? All Charger and Challenger models are going electric. Yeah, bro, an electric muscle car. That's crazy, right? 
So I know once that happens, these gas power challengers, man, them bitches gonna be worth a big bag. So hey man, if you got one, you better hold on to it. But it sound like D-Lo pulling up right now. Man, it's too damn hot in here for a shirt, but I gotta stay professional at all times, so. Hey yo, my guy, what's up, bro? What's up with you, my boy? Nah, shit, man. Welcome to the city, man. Welcome to the city. I didn't expect you to come so early, but still, man, we got you taken care of. Man, man, appreciate you, man. This mother look nice, too, my boy. Look nice. Yeah, bro, we got everything taken care of. As you can see, bro, we got the rims fitted on there perfectly. Of course, we got the color change in paint, and then we got the rag top, uh, the black leather interior, the cut, uh, the cut in the hood, bro, the lights, the whole nine, my nigga. Everything you asked for, we got put on there for you. Oh, yeah, my boy. I'm loving this right here. This is something sexy, man. What is going to run me? Honestly, bro, like we talked about on the phone, man, it was a little bit more than expected. So you're looking at 25 racks, my guy. Like, I mean, I could have went a little bit higher, but, you know, with this being our first time and I want to establish a good relationship with you and definitely bring your business back to me, man. So it's looking like 25, bro. 25 ain't bad, man. Like I told you, money is not an issue. All right, sounds good, man. Like I said, bro, she ready to go, man. Any other work, anything else you need while you in the city, bro, don't hesitate to hit me up, bro. Yes, sir. I definitely got you. I'll be sending you a wire in a minute. Oh, sounds good, bro. Be safe, my nigga. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, for sure, bro. And just like that, 25 G's. Man, I'm really having my way with this shit. And it's out the mud. No handouts, no shout outs. Self-made. Man, bro, this shit crazy. Man, that wire from d -Lo finally hit my account. Man, my shit is looking lovely. I mean, yeah, we only sitting on a little over 60 Gs, but after losing pretty much everything, I realized life is all about perspective. I got my own crib, my own car, my business is growing, my daughter is good, my lawyer is paid. Man, I may not be where I wanna be, but I certainly ain't where I was at a few episodes ago. But say, man, at least she been blowing my phone up all morning. She want me to come by the crib. She said she got something to give me. Now I'm hoping it's some of that, but but I guess we'll see here shortly. But look, after we leave there, we gotta go take a look at that challenger I mentioned earlier. We're gonna see if that's the next move or not. So I'm about to go jump in the shower just in case Alicia wants some of this meat, and then we're gonna head out. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, of course, no problem. But what would you talk about on the phone? You said you had something for me. Yeah, here you go. Damn, Alicia, is this something you wanna tell me about? What's all this? That is the money you put up to open the dispensary and also a little extra to say thank you. <laughs> Oh shit, man, I was not expecting that when I came over here. But say, man, you know you didn't have to do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know I appreciate you and everything you've done for me, big head. Damn, man, thank you. Thank you. Anyways, we need to talk. So you serious about this whole New York stuff? I mean, yeah, that's the plan. I'm giving myself 12 months and then I'm out of here. But I figured we could just work out a schedule with Josiah. That way she isn't affected by all this. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, man, what's funny? Why you laughing, man? Go ahead and tell me. DJ, I'm pregnant. Oh, hell no. Nah. It ain't no way. You bullshitting. Man, Alicia, tell me this is just another jokey joke. No, it's not no jokey joke, DJ. I'm serious. I mean, what did you expect? You been donkey fucking me. Man, damn. Say, bro, my pops must be a goddamn psychic. I guess this is what he meant when he said the universe will make a decision for me. Now, I don't see how I could possibly lead a city with two kids. Fuck, man. I don't even know how this happened. I mean, everybody know girls can only get pregnant on the weekends. So I made sure to only give Alicia some of this winky Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. All them other days, we was just chilling. Damn, man. Yeah, Sersky! PFG family, man, welcome back to another dope-ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video on the way in. Now, bruh, bruh, I can't even lie to y'all, man. I'm feeling some type of way, man. Alicia just just broke the news to us, man. It, it, it pretty much just ruined our plans. Like, I don't see how I can still move out of town with what, you know, with what's going on. But like always, like I say, this is y'all series. So y'all let me know what the next move is, man, and I'll make it happen. But yeah, bro, we got a dope ass story time. But before we get into this story time, man, before we get into the story time, I need two things from you. The first thing is Alicia actually just gave us a big, big, big stack of money. I need y'all to comment down below and let me know how much money she gave us. 
And then number two, we're actually on the way to see this Dodge Challenger. So we finna go ahead and take a look at it, but I need y'all to decide if we gonna buy it or not, right? So I think they want like 33,000 for it, but it doesn't have a motor. But like I said, man, it could be very beneficial in the future. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and jump into this story time. Hey man, say man, bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> first of all, I can't get my head around the second baby. We finna have baby number two. We ain't even 30 yet, my nigga, with two kids? Two kids, cuz? that's crazy man so it is what it is and don't get me wrong man anytime a new life is brought into this world or you know there's a pregnancy it's always a good thing but again we have plans man but anyways let's go ahead and jump into the story time so listen this story time is actually about the 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 time i saw my brother get checked like i'm talking about checked hard as hell g like this shit crazy and it's also about the time that I got my brother kicked out the house, right? So this story time is actually a little bit connected to a past story time I told when I got caught stealing from Target as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen this show Hoarders, you know, like about the people that just hoard a whole bunch of shit in their house, like just tons and tons of stuff stacked up in the house. Well, my mom had her own business for a few years where the city would actually call my mom's company and then she and other workers would go out and clean that house. Well, when my mom didn't hire other workers, she hired us. And by us, I mean me, my big brother, and my big cousin, right? So my big cousin and I'm talking about, we talking about two big cousins in this, in this story time. The first one, he's like uh, like three or four years older than me, right? So listen, <clears throat> we go out to clean this, this dirty ass house, bro. It's in the summertime, it's hot as hell, and the house is extremely filthy, like it's bad as hell, G. So we go out to clean this house, man, and we clean the house. Now, the money that I was making from cleaning this house, I was actually gonna have to use to pay back Target for stealing San Andreas and Rainbow Six. So when I got caught stealing, my mom, <laughs> my mom was making me work to pay back the money to pay, you know, pay off Target for stealing those games. So I figured that was kind of funny. So listen though, right? So we go clean, we go clean this house, man. And when we make it back to my crib, it's time, you know, to take showers, to unwind. All of us are tired. We've been working literally from sun up to sun down, right? So we go clean the house, we make it back to the crib. Now my mom, she's tired as hell. So she go outside to talk on the phone and smoke a cigarette. Now my brother, you know, my brother's older than me, a lot stronger than me. He just got paid. You know, everybody got a little bit of money in their pocket. So he's excited, right? So he's wanting a horseplay, but again, nobody's in the mood for that shit right now like you always playing g calm down so anyways he's wanting a horse play right so he picks me up and boom slams me hard as hell on the sofa now i say hard as hell right now or excuse me i said hard as hell but it really wasn't that bad like i was just being extra like and this is before i even knew what being extra was i was being a crybaby pretty much i'm still in middle school right so buddy slams me slams me on the couch i start crying i'm, I'm ready to tussle the nigga right but I know I can't beat him, so if I can't beat him, I at least want Buddy to get in trouble. So I go outside, be like crying out this world, like super extra out to my mom. When my mom sees this, my mom's not in the mood either, so she go crazy on my brother, like literally going crazy. They both arguing, and this is at the time when my brother wasn't scared of my, scared of my mom. So my brother start cussing my mom out, she cussing him out, and then bruh. My mom goes and gets a goddamn bat and starts <laughs> starts chasing this nigga around the car like cat and mouse with the bat, bro. Like the neighbors is outside. It was crazy, right? So listen, my brother calls my other cousin. Mind you, there's a there's a cousin at the crib that's like two years older than me. And then he calls my other cousin who lived around the corner who was like four or five years older than my brother. He calls him. I'm thinking this nigga calling him to come jump my mama. Like, bro, I'm just a kid, man. I'm not knowing what the hell's going on. But I'm like, yeah, come get me, nigga. Yeah, yeah, this bitch tripping. This bitch tripping. That's what my brother's saying on the phone. So I'm thinking whoever's finna pull up is finna put hands on my mama. So I'm crying with the bat in my hand. Like, nigga, who finna pull up? It's my cousin, Dev. Now check this out, my brother called my cousin Dev over there as like a kind of like a reinforcement for him to be on his side. Obviously not to jump my mom, but to take his side. Like, you know, like why are you tripping on, on him like this? Bro, in my eyes, my brother was the hardest thing on this earth. Like, I, I'm still a kid. I ain't never seen my brother lose no fight. I ain't never seen him get checked, nothing. He's the hardest thing walking. Bro, 
where my big cousin dad pulled up excuse my language you gotta forgive me guys but i gotta be authentic he pulled up like nigga is you motherfucking stupid nigga get the fuck in the car is you stupid nigga you only got one mama i bet not ever hear about you disrespecting my auntie i don't even know if that's that nigga's auntie i don't even know if he my real cousin but bro he checked the dog shit out of my brother, like literally going in. I'm like, nigga, I had to put these paws. I, I'll never forget. This is when I first heard the saying, put these paws on you. It's like, uh, it's like, nigga, I had to put these paws on you right now for even waking me up out my bed, nigga, on blood. Like, <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> and he, <laughs> he checking his shit out of my brother and like damn near stuffing my brother in the car, like by the back of his head, how like the, uh, the rope the police do you when you get in the back seat like stuffing my brother in the car and then he come over and apologize to my mom i'm like oh shit and i know my brother <laughs> bro seeing my brother in the front seat after getting checked putting on his seat belt bro <laughs> that shit funny as hell my boy but listen man i know my brother was embarrassed because i got some embarrassment for him you know that secondhand embarrassment like god damn bro this nigga got checked as hell like crazy so listen they end up speeding off like super dramatic Arr! hit the corner speed off or whatever so i go back in the house i'm not crying no more the situation over and my my, my other cousin that's only a few years older than me he in a room with me right I, I can tussle this thing i can fight this nigga i probably won't win but he better not say nothing crazy right so he was like it's like nigga you like nigga you be doing too much nigga you extra now he didn't say extra because back then that wasn't a word but he pretty much told me like bro you extra it wasn't even that serious i'm like man nigga shut up Bro, <laughs> after everything was over, man, my mom calls me in the living room. I'm like, yes, ma'am. She's like, <laughs> she like, you see what you did, you motherfucking crybaby? You see what you did? I'm like, mom, over here, slept. Man, shut you see, she was like, shut your ass up and get back in that room. I'm like, so I'm like, bro, how the fuck, like, how you gonna get mad at me for getting slammed? But I gotta give it to my mom because she didn't even care what happened. She seen her youngest son crying and she took my side, bro. She took my side. So it's crazy because my mom act my brother actually ended up moving out after that situation, but he came back like three days later to get his shit. And he had like one of them, uh one of them clothes baskets, but all the clothes my mom had bought them and she wasn't letting them take them so <laughs> so this nigga had like a stack of cds and some incense like <laughs> it was funny as hell and i'll never forget what my mom said she was like now listen before you go i just want you to know i'm not telling you gotta leave but i'm certainly not begging you to stay <laughs> and that nigga walked out man that's crazy man but i just thought that would be a quick funny story time for you guys man uh, this is the vehicle guys. We actually made it here before the owners did so I got I gave y'all a sneak peek I need y'all to comment down below. Let me know if we should buy this car or not man Like always smack that subscribe button like the video and I'm on to the next one Never broke the code. I stand on my name And even in the cold I walk through the rain I'm asking could you pray for me I'm asking could you pray for me Yeah